kilt walk set to get underway as thousands raise money for charity. More than 10,000 people are expected to take part in Scotland's annual kilt walk event, raising £2 million for charity. Organisers of the Royal Bank of Scotland fundraiser tomorrow say it is close to becoming the country's largest charity mass participation event. Last year 7,300 walkers in Glasgow raised £1.4 million, with funds going to almost 400 charities. More than 10,000 people have signed up for this year's event, which is poised to break the £2 million mark. Kilt Walk Chief Executive Paul Cooney said, We've gone from 4,000 walkers two years ago to more than 10,000 walkers on Sunday, and this is going to have a hugely positive impact for Scotland's charities. I'm so proud of our staff and volunteer kilties who put in a tremendous amount to make this happen. And we couldn't achieve this without the support of nearly 600 charities and our amazing sponsors who have been with us every step of the way as the event has grown. Sir Tom Hunter and the Hunter Foundation have pledged once again to boost funds raised, adding a 40% top-up to the cash collected. Rugby's Dottie Weir, boxer Charlie Flynn and STV weatherman Sean Batty are among those participating in the Glasgow Kilt Walk. Also joining the Glasgow event will be actors from hit TV show Outlander who will take on the trek in full, historic Highland regalia, joined by fundraisers from British Heart Foundation Scotland. The first wave of kilt walkers taking on the 23-mile mighty stride at Glasgow Green will set off at 9 a.m. A 15-mile big stroll leaves Clydebank at 10.30 a.m. and the 6-mile we wander will leave from the end site at Loch Lomond at noon. Cooney added, the event itself is incredibly special as people from across Glasgow, the West and beyond come together for a variety of different reasons with one common goal, to make a difference.